Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope everyone is fine. Me alhamdulillah, I'm okay. Uh, today I watched a very beautiful video and to be honest I would like to show you this video because it's talking about um, a Christian, it's a um, um, pastor, Christian, and uh, in the church he speak about the, the Muslim in the, in the good way. So let's watch together. I keep hearing people say, hey, Christians need to be in power. Christians need to do this, sir. Is it with this kind of Christianity? With this kind of Christianity is when we'll be in power. A Christianity that is lame, a Christianity that is weak. You think, sir, when we were on the other side, let me tell you first of all the physical side before we do the, spir the spiritual side. When we're on the other side, there is, there is, there is a statement. It's simple. You go anywhere, they tell you, Al-Muslim, Akul Muslim. Anywhere you go to, they will tell you, a Muslim is the brother of a Muslim. I have shared with you here a terrible thing. I hate sharing it. I was sent by the Archbishop somewhere, and I got stranded on the way. I went to a church to go and tell them that they should, I, I want to spend the night there. I heard the pastor and the wife arguing inside. I told them, I said, look, I will not sleep in your house. I want to sleep in the church. Sir, they didn't allow me. I left that place and walked to a mosque. I, the only thing I said is, Assalamu alaikum. And he looked at me, he said, Mala. He said, life here. I said, ni matafini. He said, Bismillah, Bismillah, Bismillah. He said, I should, I should sit. Bismillah. So he told me he was, he was eating his garo garo. He said, Mahalang, Bismillah, kato uka chokali, mucha abanchi. Sir, we finished. He said, Mahalang, he said, Masalachin na muke kwana. He said, nke yi seko kwanta. Sir, I slept in the mosque. In the morning, before the early morning prayers, before he knows that it is not, I only say salamu alaikum. I quickly step out. Sir, is it with that kind of Christianity? We will, is that, are, you, are you thinking we can, we can dismantle that force? Our self-centered, self-seeking, self-glorifying Christianity. A Christianity that only thinks about himself. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Here I've seen how a Christian priest from Nigeria, he said how he loves the Muslim brotherhood and how he loves the Muslim hospitality. And wherever you go, Islam doesn't have any sort of racism, any sort of like division for nationality and all these things. Kullu Muslimun ikhwa. All the Muslims are brothers. So if you come from Nigeria or USA or Canada or Australia or India, Pakistan, Bangladesh or like Central Asian countries, wherever you are, if you are a Muslim, if you share the kalima la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, then you are brothers. In the masjid, all the Muslims, no matter how rich or how poor he is, all are same. Everyone has the same right in the masjid. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala judges you with your taqwa, with your good deeds. The more God consciousness you have, the more good deeds you do, the better you are. Other than that, all of us are same. So, you can see in the western countries, Islam is the fastest growing religion. We have only one divine book that is Al-Quran which is preserved for last 1400 years not a single verse is changed it's all the same you take a Quran from USA and you take a Quran from Saudi Arabia it's all same and that is one of the biggest miracles of Islam 
May Allah give us the true understanding of the Quran. May Allah give us the true guidance and may Allah keep us steadfast on this deen. MashaAllah, this video is very beautiful. Uh, it teaches a lot about uh, Muslim and uh, it makes you understand that we all Muslim, um, we, we are one person and uh, it doesn't matter if um, you are black, if you are white, uh, where, I, where we from and uh, if you are rich, if you are poor, it doesn't matter, we are one person and um, we are to respect each other, uh, we need to be uh, kind uh, to other people and uh, Islam uh, it's religion uh, of peace and uh, it's fasting growing uh, religion uh, because people understand uh, the truth uh, so we need to show um, to other people uh, how we we are uh, we muslim and uh, we need to show uh, to other people um, the that we are different people so let, let's make example to other people uh, for to understand uh, uh, Islam because for, for example uh, in Italy um, they don't understand Islam because the way how they speak is very bad about Islam so we need to try to um, to show uh, the example uh, about Islam for to understand Islam so I hope this video you like and uh, I hope to see you soon uh, Assalamu alaikum You don't teach your kid half the Bible, but the Muslims teach their kids the Quran and the Hadith. They're seven and eight year old kids. You listen to me, they can quote the entire Quran because they get that word inside of them because that's how strong they believe. By the way, the latest prediction is the economic crisis will end in 2014. Wonder why? Let me tell you how Islam is going to take over the world one day prophetically. Let me tell you how the Antichrist will be linked to that religion. And let me tell you why it will work. It's one word. It's called interest. They call it something else. We call it in the Bible interest. Interest has killed us. We, we print money in the United States with the Federal Reserve, and we owe them $2 trillion. Interest has killed us. That we, we print money in the United States with the Federal Reserve and we owe them two trillion dollars in interest. What a scam and a sham. But did you know in the Islamic religion, you cannot charge a fellow Muslim interest rates. If you're going to help build him a house, he has to give you a collateral if it fails. But you can't charge him one percent, two or three. How many people in Europe do you think? would be willing to sell their soul or convert from what they are to survive economically when you've got one system that says seven and a half percent and another system that has trillions of dollars in oil money that says you come with us no interest I'm going to tell you I know people I know politicians in Washington that would sell their money